Good afternoon. My name is Sonia Prophet, and I am here today to talk to you about my action research project, which is finding out the facts about Lexia. Our students at Pine Knot Primary are engaged in about 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes a day on Lexia, and I wanted to see if it was really helping their core reading and their core phonics. So what I decided to do was track my students over a six week period to see if what they were learning was actually what they needed to be learning and if it was fun and engaging for them in a way that still required them to learn their key concepts. The purpose of this research project was to see, to give reasoning to the using of the Lexia program for a chunk of my classroom time as teachers. It, our time is very valuable and I want to know whatever program I'm putting them on is worth having them on. There were many computer programs out there to choose from. Our school chose Lexia and I wanted to be sure that that was the best thing for my students. So I did a literature review to see what is out there that could form an opinion for me about the good points of Lexia. So Lexia is a computerized reading program that provides phonics instruction and gives the students independent practice in basic reading skills. Lexia reading is designed to supplement regular classroom instruction, but it's also designed to support developmental skills in the five areas of reading as identified by the National Reading Panel. Lexia's mission is to promote the success of teachers and students as they work to master the essential skills for reading. Lexia Reading achieves this goal in three main ways. One, it supports our core instruction with independent reading skills practice. Two, it prevents reading failure at, for at-risk students through repeated intensive skill practice. And three, it remediates with extended practice for students experiencing reading failure while identifying specific instructional needs. So why Lexia? Um, I decided to look to see uh, different studies to see what other people thought about Lexia and in numerous stu studies that were published in peer-reviewed journals um, listed here, Lexia has been found to accelerate the development of critical foundation literacy skills in the early grades. And the key findings were that it helped improve reading scores in preschool, elementary, middle school, and it took the lowest performing students and helped them the most using the Lexia reading for Title I students. And it closed the reading gap after only six weeks of intervention time, which in the lives of a student who's really struggling, six weeks is not a long time to help them really improve. Is Lexia supported? As documented in the Journal of Research and Reading, which was published in 2006, Lexia does support literacy gains among at-risk students. Um, Title I students that were in the Lexia group made significantly greater gains than those that were in the control group that took the gates McGinty reading test. Lexia reading effectively supports students at all levels. Students reading above grade level, they can move hot, faster and have more challenge than those that are on level who can kind of work at their own speed and then those who are below level have the extra skills, the repeated instruction to help them learn the basics um, skills for their reading and phonics development. So these were the two research questions I came up with. Number one, what impact would 30 minutes daily on Lexia core reading have on my first grade students reading skills? And my second research question was, do the core standards we as teachers have to teach match up with Lexia in the modeling um, that it's doing for the students? And this is what I found. Justification of the research method, um, I wanted to be sure that doing 20 minutes of Lexia on my students per day was worthwhile. With this research, I wanted to be sure my first graders were actually gaining knowledge in the core standards where they needed to be. And I'm hoping that the data retrieved after six weeks will reveal growth in my students in the area of phonics and reading comprehension. So question number one again was would the 30, 20 to 30 minutes 
daily help my first grade students. And my participants were first graders, there were 19 of them who took the 20 minutes um, daily over a six week period. And prior to the six weeks, I collected data on the placement of my students within the program and the concepts they were working on so that way I would be able to measure their growth. I decided to do a survey amongst my kindergarten, first and second grade peer teachers. And so I asked five first grade, five second grade, and six third grade teachers these survey questions about Lexia. Um, do they do it with fidelity? Do they like it as teachers? Do the students like it? Do they feel it's helping their students? What would make it better? And do you feel that it is helping your students in the area of reading? And these are the results of my survey. The first and second grade teachers were, I would say, 95% of the time doing it with fidelity, doing the Lexi with fidelity. The third grade struggled with it a little more because they have a lot of different areas they're trying to cover um, for the standardized test. And so they do have students that do get on it, but it's not done with as much fidelity as first and second grade. And um, there were many reasons given for liking Lexia. There, one of the main ways is that there were three different ways that the computer tries to teach the students a concept that they're not getting. And also it gives the teacher printable worksheets to work on those. The teachers really liked that they could get the data um, on all their students at any given time and make small groups on the key concepts that they may be missing so that they could really hit those again. Uh, the students really liked that they got the certificates and that it was in a game sort of mode so that they could, you know, it made it more fun as they were traveling the world to get their points. This is my data analysis result, which I was super pleased with. After six weeks of um, testing on the Lexia, you can see major growth. The blue bars are October 1st, and the orange bars are where they were six weeks later on November 24th. So as you can see, many of them made substantial gains. They're supposed to be at a level five when they come in from kindergarten. As you can see, that did not happen. Most of them came in at a level one, some of them at a level two. So they kind of started the year a little behind. And to be finished with the lessons for first grade, they need to get all the way um, past the level nine. So currently I just have the one student that is past that level. So what I will do now to adjust is the students with the lower growth, my struggling students are going to have 30 minutes a day that they must do Lexia, whereas the rest of my group will be more likely to do just the 20 minutes. I will also work more with the students who are struggling to go ahead and get them past the different levels and to master the skills that they need. So for my second research question, I wanted to know if our core standards aligned with um, what the Lexia programs are teaching, and I wanted to know if my students were mastering the performance predictors after six weeks, because six weeks ago they were not mastering them, so I wanted to monitor over six weeks and see if they were. Again, the participants will be my first grade class. These are the different um, lessons that are taught on the Lexia for first grade, um, starting all the way with level six, all the way up to level nine. They go everywhere from building the CVC words, to sight words, to word families, to categorizing words, um, sequencing things and sentences, vowel combinations. All of these are things that line up with the core standards that we also must be teaching. And again, I was super excited with the results for my students. The collection of analyzed them from the Lexia website showed that my students made significant gains. Here you see that the green 67% of my students six weeks ago were high risk, now down to 15%, which is pretty amazing. 
my some risk students from 33 went to 53%, which is where a lot of my um, green 67 percenters went. And we added a whole new chart, which is on target. We went from having zero on target six weeks ago to now having 32 on target. So I cannot wait to see where they are six weeks from now. I'm hoping to completely eliminate this green section here of high risk. Here are my references. If you're interested in Lexia, which is a very cool program, um, you could go to LexiaLearning.com or LexiaCore5.com. Either one will get you where you need to go. I hope that you enjoyed a little bit about my research project on the facts about Lexia. I had a great time learning it and I feel um, awesome that my students are making such great gains and it, I feel validated that they're doing a program that is really helping them to grow and to have fun. Thank you.